Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the third video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to install VMware vSphere client 5.5 so let's have some idea about my daemon environment so here I have two virtual machines which, which I have used in my previous video first one is my DC which is win 2k8 dc01 on which i have installed active directory and dns role if you go here here is my active directory server win 2k8 dc01 so if you go to roles you can see active directory domain services and dns is installed on this server and my second server is vcenter01 so this is my vcenter server i have installed vmware uh, vSphere 5.5 vCenter server on this machine if you go here VMware you can see and I have uh, with the with the vCenter vSphere web client is also installed so you can manage the vCenter your virtual infrastructure VMware virtual infrastructure by using the VMware vSphere client and uh, uh, VMware vSphere client also so I am going to install uh, in this video VMware vSphere client 5.5 so the installation you can download the VMware or uh, vSphere client directly from uh, like VMware site. Also, if you have downloaded the VMware uh, vSphere vService media, you can get the uh, like installation fly files from there. So I'm going in my VMware VMI setup all the size of file around like 3.5 GB and I'm going to use this and now if you go and browse the media and I'm going to explore it like open and here we have everything like you can see VMware vSphere web client setup VMware vSphere client setup everything is here so in this video I'm I am going to install VMware client vSphere client so double click on it the name uh, VMware vSphere client also known as a VI client so I, I just run the double click on the application file and you can see installation is started so the installation is very simple next next and finish nothing nothing fancy with the installation of VI client So here you can see you can select the required language so I am going to install it with English United State click OK Insol installation wizard is launched the MSI file VMware vSphere client 5.5 MSI file So here is the wizard. Welcome to installation wizard of v VMware vSphere client 5.5. Click next. I accept the license term agreement. Click next. And the installation path. Leave the default. Click next. And just click on install button. So it will install the VMware vSphere client. it's installing the required feature like Microsoft Visual 2.0 second edition these are the some pre-requires
so you can see it's installing the help file so here is our icon vmware vspare client So the installation is completed. VMware vSphere client 5.5 has been installed successfully. Click finish to exit. So I'm going to launch the VMware vSphere client. Double click on so sorry, it's web clients. Double click on VMware vSphere client only. So type the server name or IP address. So I'm going to type the name of the server vCenter01 and I'm going to use the my session a Windows session credential because I in the last video I have given the permission to my vCenter admin account Active Directory account to uh, 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 as an administrator account in VMware infrastructure so we are good to go just click on login so it will check the uh, like authentication and author authorization for our machine so like it's hyphen vcenter hyphen zero one click on login click on install the certificate and do not display any certificate warning for vcenter hyphen zero one and click on ignore So you can see it's uh, still connecting first time it will take some time so you can see we have logged in and the warning for the like expire expiring the vCenter infrastructure license vCenter server license so click ok we have 59 days more to do all the steps and I'm going to click on the console is here all the uh, details like you can configure session you can see the sessions every detail so i am going to click on host and clusters and now you can see the our data center here which is india and now we need to we have a task to add a host then add a virtual machine complete the setup we'll do it in our next video so for now we have installed the vcenter vSphere client and we have like logged in with our domain account so if you want to go home you can see the all details here if you want to see network related details click here so everything is here in vcenter vi uh, uh, vSphere vi client and like if you want to go to the vms and templates you can directly click on here so for right now we don't have anything like no host no virtual machine in our vcenter infrastructure so in administration you can see the all things inventory you can go to browse anything so this is the all detail and you can manage the plugins or, or as well as here like we have few plugins installed vmware central storage monitoring service vcenter service status and vcenter hardware status everything is enabled and if you want to disable any plugins you can go to here and click the disable so this is all about the vCenter VI client installation and and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can mail me on my given mail id and thank you once again bye bye